Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and New Gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with Wee Menix. And in today's episode, I'm on with my good friends Dark Soul and Alex again. And today we're going to be doing some multi-crew mining. I've not really done much in a mall before, so this is going to be a new one for me. So we hope you like this video, guys. Roll the intro. So the code dropping down guys is a code we've picked at random from our comment section. If you are subscribed to the channel and you want your code to show, we pick them randomly from the comment section. So just leave your code in the comment section with a comment and we'll pick one at random again. And for anybody new, if you use that code when you create a new account at RSI, you'll get 5,000 credits and that person will get pushed up in the rankings and could earn some goodies for themselves. So yeah, so let's get into this one guys. Today I'm on with Dark Soul and Alex and we're just gonna just play around with the mall today we haven't really i haven't really done much with the mall before and i thought it's about time i did it it's been quite a hectic schedule this past couple of weeks for me so i've not really put much out uh, in the last week especially and so i thought i'd um go on with dark and just spend a bit of time on there and just um do some mining see what changes have happened with mining just see what it looks like in the mall and um, as a multi-crew miner. So what we're gonna do is we've picked up a little box here and we're just gonna put it in the in the ship here and we're just gonna both put stuff in it like food and water and, and stuff that we might need together. And it's a good way of, of sharing commodities that sh for ships that don't have sh uh, shared storage. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm just gonna leave this video rolling with um, Dark uh, talking and Alex talking in the background with me and and I'm not really gonna do any commentary over it. So we hope you like this one, guys. And um, let's get on to it. If I put, where's my, I'm gonna try and, oh, God, Jesus. Now I've gotta find where they come. They're not in other, they're not in sustenance. Vehicles? Right. So there's a bed tool in there for you. All right. Let's roll. Roll. I think that's everything. We forgot something. I'm not turning, I'm not turning this ship around. Do you have a helmet? I have a helmet. I have a helmet. I think I have a helmet. I have a helmet. I don't know. I don't know whether it's the same in this patch, but I, I once jumped in Mars Mole, um, and I just thought, well, I'm in a ship anyway, so I went in in my in my civvy clothes, got in the mining turret, and choked to death. <laughs> the amount of times I've done that when I've jumped on a turret. Wait, what am I doing anyway? Hang on. You're you're driving. Am I? Well, there's oh. no point making a video with you sitting in a passenger seat. <laughs> I was I was enjoying that, enjoying the view there. Now I think I've already done it, but the mole she doesn't like to lift off unless you're in VTOL. Okay. Um, and when we go to refine the ore, when, you, when you're flying into the, into the hangar, you have to be in v VTOL or you're going to take a nosedive as soon as you get into the hangar. Uh, you're gonna have to get the get us out of here because it's just I tried and it's just signed. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Hang on. Um, sorry. Can I do it from here? Yeah, you should. Well, you should be able to do it from your screen. Oh wait, no. I, I'd already done it anyway. Have you? Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure I had. Let's go up and see. Yeah, there's. Yeah. Blue sky above us. Once you take off your right, you can go back to normal mode, but 
this lifting off it it's glued to the ground it doesn't like to take off unless you're uh, in veto which is it should be for some of the big ships shouldn't it you've got these two big powerful oh, yeah. engines it should be who cares yeah for sure but oh, then there's the... other ships that have VTOL that I don't understand why they have VTOL. Like the Prospector. Why does it have VTOL? It's so small and light, it, surely it would never need it. Presuming, like, if the bags are full, it's supposed to be heavy. Well, I, I'm sure I'm sure weights are coming in at some point, aren't they? Well, I'd be interested to see that. There's a lot of stuff that they really need to implement like I've, I've heard people whinging about master modes and stuff like that and it's like yeah but you can't really whinge about it because it's going to change again where so, are we going where are we going to go mining wherever you want i normally just go to lyria because it's closer to uh arc l2 arc l2 is where i refine because it has the best bonuses for three of the top four ores and the and the fourth ore, it just has a zero bonus. Like there's no deficit, there's no bonus. I was watching. Um, Salty Mike the other day, he was doing a, vi uh, a video on, he was watching Red Red Monster Gaming. Yeah. He'd done a full comprehensive thing about mining and everything. And I started watching it and I'm like, dude, this, this, these dudes have too much time in their hands. <laughs> like he's, and everything. he's working out the percentage chance of yeah. how, or you'll get 23% chance that gold's going to be in this type of rock on this moon and I'm like, what the f I just fly somewhere and if I find something good, I crack it. I tend to just go out of a space station and just point myself in any direction. Well, I, I I did a little bit of mining around the, like, so because I'm based at Arc L2, um, it's easy to just shoot out, head for the asteroids and then pop around trying to mine something, but I just found that they were crap. Yeah. Um, I've, I, I didn't find money doing that, mate. I did find that belt mining was really good with the mole. Yeah. I like it. But again, again, they've made changes to mining. So now, wait, why are we full engines? We're not, we're not full engines. Oh, on my screen, it's showing that we're 100% engines, zero on guns and zero on shields. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that's me, because I I always set my um, thrusters when I'm using the thrusters. I always set it uh, reset power. Oh, right, okay. Reset power. As long as when we're mining, we're power back on shields, because that's the thing we're going to need. Power shields. Yeah, I, I use my Emily to do it. I'll just tell us, to say, I'll say like power thrusters or power shields or whatever, and it just does it. Yeah. It's something I, I got used to and something I need to learn more in when I'm fighting, when I'm doing like dogfighting and that. I, and so that's why I put it onto voice commands. But right, should we just drop anywhere? Uh, I obviously pick a day side. Okay. Because yeah. there's no point going, there's no point going mining over the night time, uh, night side if you don't really have to. Yeah, I'm just looking where the sun is. Uh, how far? Well, nice. Oh, hang on. You, you can yeah. tell by the symbols. No, yeah, I, can see, I know you can tell by the symbols. I'm, I don't want to pick something where the sun is going to be coming out of. Do you get what I mean? It's going to be. Okay. Yeah. And I don't want to. Do we want a processing facility? Because we're not going near it, are we? Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going near it. And there's going to be less people wanting to travel near a processing facility anyway. As soon as the quantum stops, you're just heading straight down to the ground. Um, and then you ping and whatever is the first rock, that's the direction I head. So I normally set a, I normally find a direction on the compass. Like, so sometimes I might go, I'm going to travel at uh, 310 degrees. And then I just head in that direction, pinging and picking up rocks as I go. Yeah, I just turn away from where we were, where we headed, and then I just, I do a yeah. 360 ping, 
until someone comes up. Because yes, uh, normally I ping at 180. Uh, sometimes I ping at 9. 180 kind of seems to be the best. But I kind of pick a direction because I, early on, probably oh, patches and years ago when I was mining, I found that I kept going around in circles all the time. Yeah. Chasing the, chasing the pings. And I'm going back to rocks that I've already done. And I'm so now I just pick a compass heading and I stick to that compass heading. And I'll deviate a bit if I see if I see a ping off to the side or something, I'll go over and check it out. But then I'll go straight back to my compass heading and keep going forward. Um, used to be people said, Oh, you get more rocks in the mountains, so those mountains off to our left, you know. Yeah. Supposedly, you'll find more pings and that over there, but I always thought it was I if there's, there's mountains nearby, it'll be in the flatlands of the mountains. That's what I always worked out yeah. when I used to do it. And two rocks it's will such... always be quantanium, that's that's how it used to be. That's how it used to be, yeah. I mean, the numbers still mean something, you know, like 1700 means something, 1950 means something, but. I kind of haven't got into all that now. I mean, and if you if you really wanted to investigate all that, Red Monster Gaming, uh, his mining cheat sheets are awesome for for working out all that sort of stuff. But since they changed it, so there's a chance of gold and a chance of quantanium and a chance of this, it's kind of kind of feels like there's a chance of it appearing in any friggin' rocks. So the number doesn't really matter. Yeah. So there's a rock here um, just coming up to us around here somewhere. There was a rock yeah. here. One thing I want them to do with the mole is I want the pilot to be able to have some sort of HUD system that shows him when the mining lasers are in optimal range of the rock. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Because, because it doesn't do that. You have to have someone in the in the seat telling you up a bit, down a bit, forward a bit. Which is kind of okay, but I still think it would make sense that the pilot would know the range of his turrets and the angle of them and, and whether they're at optimal or not for the rock. You know, like the pilot should be able to um, target a rock and set that rock as the target and then yeah. he can angle his ship and manoeuvre it into the perfect position for cracking it. So we got one here. It's, per it's just okay. purple. What's it got in it? Uh, oh, it says it's purple, but it's not okay. letting me scan it. Are you, are you in? Are you in mining mode? No. I'm, okay, well, mining I'm in mode. pilot seat, Anna. Will that work? No. Yep, it will work. All right. Yeah. I, for some reason, I was thinking there was not a not a pilot one. All right. So yeah. it is. Uh, 55 barrel, 43 conundrum. It's, it doesn't Same say. Shit. Yeah, it doesn't say. And, and the optimal what window size is, is really it? small. The mass is three. It's 3544. 4. 35,000? We won't crack that. 3,500. Oh, okay. And it's yeah, not, it's not given a thing on whether it would be. Because I'm not, I'm not on a laser, am I? So no, because you're not in a laser. All, all, all you can do with the mining mode at the pilot seat is tell what's in the rock. Yeah. Really. So and that's that what I mean. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. No, we don't want that. We want the top four. It doesn't tell you whether it's. Um, yeah, the mining mode in the pilot seat. It doesn't tell you whether you're in the optimal range. That's what I really want to know as the pilot. Is are my lasers at optimal range or at least the front laser yeah you know and there should be some sort of hud system that tells the pilot that i mean fuck what is it 2953 or something like yeah. you're telling me they that they haven't developed that mind you they don't have anti glare windshields either do they so and they've got to, and they've got torches that take small tiny batteries because they're not that powerful. Yeah. You know. Twenty nine fifty three. I don't know. 
back in my day, we had remote controls that could open our ship without having to reach 10 feet in the air to press a button. I mean, if you're an MSR owner, you have to wear a pair of fucking stilts to hit that open ramp button. Standing on the ground, throwing rocks at the button, hoping to hit it. <laughs> the ramp will open. There's nothing coming up. I wish they sold skins in game for them all. I've searched a few stores and I haven't found any for the mole. If anybody in the comments knows where I can buy skins in game for the mole, please let me know. Let him know, let him know. Alright, people will go. Ah, oh, yeah, but you can buy skins in the store. It's only $5. Microtransactions. Yeah. Yeah, they're making a lot of money on those. I uh, I hear. I I I offloaded some of my skins not long ago because I just I didn't want them anymore. I mean, I've got a few. I've got a few best in show skins of the MSR and things like that, and um, the Christmas skins and things. And it's like, well, I don't really need these ones that I bought that I didn't like and didn't use anyway. I mean. More often than not, you find a skin you like for a ship and you use that one all the time and the other three that are sitting in your, your account, you never use. Yep. Bloody diamonds. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Well, I mean, I'm the same with cars, you know. I don't care about the color. I mean, I'm sitting on the inside, so just take it how it is. Oh, no, no, no. Color's important on cars. Well, you're right. You are yeah, right. Because red, I mean, red, red goes faster. Yeah. yeah, that's what they say. You're not wrong. It's true. I own a red 300 ZX, and mm -hmm. when it nice. when it's working, it goes faster. Mm -hmm. When it's not working, it costs me a in fortune to fix. I believe you. How are we doing there, Captain? 48. Uh, there's two just showing up now. I think one of them may be diamonds and the other one might be actually a rock because the first one showed up at 40. At oh, 4,000 yeah. metres, so that's, I presume, is going to be diamonds yeah. or whatever it is. You can kind of tell. Uh, I, I like mining on Lyria, but one of the things that annoys me is when you get closer and you get that little white blip that you can hardly see against the snow. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh fuck, now I've lost it. Where was that rock? I know there was one here somewhere. So I've got a 1400. There's two rocks here nearby. Okay. Let's get to these two. Got one coming in now. And then there's one up there on the hill. There's lords on this one, on the L. And the other one, I think, is diamonds. <laughs> the annoying ones. I, I find some really good rocks on the side of a hill sometimes. Yeah, here. Yeah. And, you, and you crack them, and then they all start, all the pieces start sliding down the hill to the bottom. <laughs> uh, so we got this one here, which is a... A, a 9,000 Laranite, 46%. Then we've got the next one, the middle one, which is a a 5,000, 36% laminate. Oh. We've got a purple one, which is 32% gold. Oh, well, we'll grab that. Yeah, it's purple. Well, it said it's purple, yeah. now it's 
I don't know. It turns from purple to orange. Uh, they've got a, a problem with their thing. All right. It'll be it'll be purple. It's a two thousand anyway. It, it kind of flipped purple and then changes color, and it's like, wait, what, what, did I see purple? And, yeah. You know, it's not very clear anymore. This one's purple. Well, it, it was purple, but it's flipped orange again. And this one's a one one thousand. Twenty you can twenty usually... twenty three percent gold. Yeah, we'll take that. You can usually tell by the size. A thousand is going to be small enough to be purple. Yeah. This one's a thirteen thousand thirty five percent containium. Quant. So that's a good one. I will I will easily take quant and not even bother filling the rest of the ship and just head straight back. Yeah. Well not to hit the gold so then. We'll, so we'll suck up the gold. Yeah. Then we'll crack then we'll crack the quant. Because you won't fill the ship with a thirteen K rock. How much how many percent of gold uh, quant was it? 30, 35% I think it was. Let me have a look. The rest of yeah, it's laminite, so I'll yeah. back onto it. It was 35 35 percent and it's a forty-six it's a forty-six SCU rock, so you're gonna be talking what? Yeah, well this holds ninety-six SCU I think. There's gonna be about what, ten percent or something? It's gonna be, we'll be able to uh, suck 10 up. Ten or fifteen. Ten or fifteen. Is that? I mean, it's up to you what you want to do for the video. If you want to fill the ship or oh, not, yeah. but I, I, I would, I would normally suck up those two golds, take the quant, and then head straight back. The video is just going to be uh, just mining as a as a crew, crew mining. How come you don't have a mole anyway? Um, I never you're not really going to be able to show this. You're not going to be able to show the sales, the refining. No, that's fine. It's more about the just the, the crew mining, what it's like going out crew mining. The rest of it is not any any great information, is it? It's... So I'm in front of the gold. Where are you? Okay. So if you want to scoop it need... up, yeah, you can scoop it up. You sure? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Right. I'm coming out the seat. And I'll land the ship if you fall through to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, I'll jump in the pilot seat just in case you need, need me to move it. Oh, yeah, you'll need me to move that. We need to go up a bit. There we go. Wait, how close are we? Uh, probably just and go up to about there. Is there a power button for this thing? Yep. Do you know where it is? I found it. I think I found it. Uh, it'll be up the top somewhere. Yeah. To the left, I think. Oh, there is a change, aren't there? That we gotta exit power. Oh, no. oh, can I not move the? Oh yeah, I can move it. It's the whole pod's moving. I'm an idiot. <laughs> right. Okay. So this is just gold, so I could just suck this up anyway, can I? Extraction. This is thirty-two percent of an eight. See you. Right, next one is, I think, over there, to our left. Right, sorry, not left. Well, shoot. The gold one, there's another gold shoot, one in there. Shoot. It is. To the right, sorry, not left. The one to the left is the quant, and so there should be one to the right, top of the hill. One of, these I, ones I, here, yeah. one of these ones, I think. Where? One of, uh, one okay. of these ones, yeah. Because I, I can't see them. They're not coming up as scannable rocks. 
I don't know if that's not one. Oh, uh, no, that's not one. There's one there. That's Laranite. That's Laranite. What about directly underneath us? That's Quantanium there. No, that one directly underneath us is Laranite. And, and that one's Laranite. That's Quantanium. And there's one there, that's gold. This one here, yeah. Twenty-three percent gold. So we're gonna have we've got just short of four gold. So now it's just the laminite one in it over here. The quantanium. Quantanium, sorry, yeah. It's got an impossible on it. What's my range? We are, I'm just trying to fight. we're 32, are we? we're almost in the optimum, literally just millimetres from the optimum. Yeah, there we are, we got that. Um, but it's got what impossible it? on it. Okay, what's the size? 13,000. What's the resistance? 35. Okay, too high. Um, let's go whack a severe on it. Yeah. Put a severe on it, yeah. Do that. If you want to get prepared for landing, and I'll go and pick one up. The beer will increase the green window size. It'll lower the resistance, but it'll make the instability 15% higher, which means you really got to be careful of like the power all of a sudden just shooting up for no reason. Now let me grab the bloody thing. Silly ass thing. I'm on the ramp, but it doesn't let me pick it up. The inventory from the ramp. What do you mean? You put it in your hand? Yeah, no, I've got to put it in my hand, but um, actually it's not letting me put it in my hand. Alright, so grab, now, now it's going to let me. Is it? Yeah, got it. Cool. No, so basically I was on the ramp because I wanted to leave it to the last moment to put it in my hand because I've obviously got a backpack to put it on. And... Um, it was saying basically that I wasn't on the ship when I was on the ramp and the ramp was out. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Right, so which rock is it? <clears throat> this one in front of us uh, It's the one. No, no, no. It's off to our right. Right. I see it behind us, yeah. It's massive, isn't it? It doesn't look massive when you... Hey, calm down. Calm Wait, down. Yeah, when you're floating in the air. Calm down. <laughs> I'm just sliding down an hill. Literally just slid down an hill. Right, let's try to find this. a nice flat spot at eye level. Yeah. Are you streaming in Discord? No, jump into him. Calm down. Yeah. Have you used gadgets before? I have. I have. Oh, okay. Well, 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 you know what you're doing then. That's yeah. fine. I just thought in case you didn't know. No, yeah, no. Well, I do know, but... There we are. Get on there. Come on, then. There we are. Boom. Right, let's get this on. There we go. Calibrate. 
So resistance was 35% yes. Yeah. So we'll see how this changes it. And I'm just going to go and get a drink while you're doing that. Yeah. So I've got the resistance down 50%, the charge window up, I think, 30%. Yes. And the instability is up 15%. Seems to have lost my gadgets that I had. Okay, Chief. I got it to 95%, brought the resistance down 50%. The charge went up, I think, was up 35%, and but the instability is up. Are you back in the ship? Yeah. Taking off. Have a look. It went to purple then for some reason. Let me know my range when I'm in optimal. Are we in optimal? Yeah, so the resistance is plus 17% now. Uh, one sec. Uh, keep, where, no, come back a bit. We're in the, the, what's it called? Come back. A, come back. You're at 15. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now we're in optimum. Right, so okay. now it's a medium. 17% uh, resistance. Yeah. So we dropped it from 35 to 17. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. I mean, if you're still having trouble cracking it, I can assist on the other laser, but we'll ah, see nice. how you go. It's, it's, it's more than enough. I yeah, tell you, all you, this. You may have to start backing off at some point because I'm at the, the lowest level and it's still going up. Yeah. Start backing off now, slightly. If you start backing off until we've got um, until it's until it's not moving, and I'll use the laser then from there once it's stable. Right, you stay there, stay there. Yeah. So I've I've put a lot of laser power into that one. Um, it's minimal. Is I think thirty percent or something like that. Yeah.
in the green now. Perfection. Let me know. Yeah, so let's do these two first Those... so that's not rolling down the hill. Yeah. <laughs> go on rolling down the hill. So this first one is 15% quant. The one next to it is... Well, we're not going to fill the ship, so we'll take... All the quant. Yeah, 29% kind of. quant. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to grab these before we go to the others? Or we, are we just going to hoover yeah, sure. hoover, no, hoover no, no. everything grab up? Them. Yeah. We're going to hoover the whole lot because we're not yeah. going to fill up the, the 96 anyway. Yeah. We're just going to take the whole lot. We're only at 19 SCU at the moment. Yeah. Keep pressing the wrong button, answer. Oh, answer. sorry, sorry, I did. <laughs> there we go, got it. Okay, can move on to the next ones. Is this an orange one? Uh, yeah, it's orange, yeah. Okay, so, so we're gonna have to crack it. Yeah. Um, you... Oh yeah, okay, we're gonna grab the other ones. Yeah. Might as well grab one there, we can concentrate on the other one. Have we got a timer on the screen? Yeah, 23 minutes. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable, and if we're only going to RKL 2. Okay. Yeah. So let me know my range. Okay. What I'll do is I'll get it to be stable. That one, that one might be a little bit. Oh yeah, back off. You should too, be back off. It, it's too big. Yeah, yeah. Turn, turn your laser off. I have them. <laughs> you, you, you might have to jump into one of the other turrets. Yeah. Wow, Jesus, that was that was heavy. Yeah, that that's too strong. That laser for for doing the second crack. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, if we backed oh, off enough, did it blow? It blew up, yeah. Oh, I was turned around. So I can get back in this laser now, can I? Was there any anything came from it or not? No, it disintegrated. It damaged our shields. Oh, oh shit. All right. So we'll yeah. jump back to our yeah. two. So we got 10 anyway, 10 quam. That's not too bad. It's yeah, like yeah, 250 fine. grand, in it? Is it? Yeah, because each one is about 25 grand, in it? Uh... Okay. <laughs> I'm sure quantum's twenty five grand. Once it's for five anyway. Just, I just see quant and go quant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think quantum quantanium quant is uh, twenty five grand once it's refined. I'm still tracking my other stupid mission. And we've still got four gold as well. In there. Yeah. So we don't have a big load, but I always just jump. If I find corn, yeah. I always just go back and refine it. That's the thing, isn't it? It's, um, it's what I said, 25. Oh. There's 250k there in that one lot. Yeah, I mean, you can spend time mucking around to see if you can find some more, but, you know, by the time you dick around and even if you're cracking, oh, you know what we didn't do? That. We didn't get our Sabir back. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah. Good job you bought a couple. I bet there wasn't that much because what how much quant was it 35 I, I bet there wasn't that really? much quant in it. Yeah. it i bet there was only about two or three more quant in that other rock anyway wow 
Or oh, you could watch the video back. It'll it'll have the quantities on it. Well, it was a thirty-five rock. It was a thirty-five um, SCU, and it was thirty um, thirty-five quant in it, wasn't it, or something like that. So it was only a third of it was quant, which is, I think it was. I can't remember. It was. It might have been up to fifteen max, but still, maybe five loss. It's all good. Something about the Argo ships I love. I like them all. I, I like the SRV as well, but it's just I wish it had guns. I either give the SRV guns or make it so that its hull is shielded and it can't be quantum jammed. Yeah. Like having a having a towing ship that's towing other ships that can be quantum jammed is a bit stupid, if you ask me. It's completely defensive. Switch to VTOL. down. Yeah, that front gun, the way I've got it set up, that's, it's got a lot of power in it, so 
Oh, what the? What happened? I'm stuck somewhere. It's all black. I'm stuck in between the doors. Yeah, can you open the doors? No, that didn't work. No. I'm going to have to backspace because I need to store the ship, otherwise it's going to explode. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is that going to put me back at area 18? I hope not. Uh, it used to be if you backspaced in a station, that's the station Welcome that would put you back at. Ah, oh, for the love of God. I should have just logged out. I don't know. I'm on a black screen. Yeah, two million away where you are. Uh, I should have just backspace. I should have just logged. Yeah, you're two million away. Um, <laughs> I guess you can stand in the hangar and watch the mole blow up. No, we had 20 minutes when we left. I gotta get, I gotta catch the train and get back to the station, call a ship, fly back to RKL2. There's no way I'm making it back before then. Maybe, if I'm lucky. I'll try. I'll just wait for the explosion to happen. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Can't remember what angle he was in. I wasn't even standing at the lift. <clears throat> I was standing a little bit back from it. I think all my armor has gone too. I don't have it here. Won't it be at this station here? Maybe. Don't know. I can't remember what hangar we was in. Uh, it'll be hangar one. I just tried that, it's not there. Yeah. Try hangar four. Yeah, we're at the space station that is. Generally it's hangar four or hangar ten with the bigger ships. on the train oh, I can't believe that it, it's like it sucked me in because I, I, I never stand too close to the doors because you know elevators yeah. and I was standing back from the elevator door and then all of a sudden I was just sucked forward into the blackness well I was stood at the bottom and I got injured so I got like an injury and then when I turned around you was inside the lift <laughs> I could see light and everything, so like I was, it was like I was jammed between the walls. I thought I was stuck between the two doors, but I was jammed like between the lift and the wall. And I, and I couldn't move. So, mm. I've so many bloody li I've gone from I've gone 12, 10, 11 12, 11, 10 9, 8 Oh wait Maybe it stored the ship Because I backspaced Because I'm not there anymore Yeah Well we'll find out When we get there There's a ship here That's floating It's like a A small ship floating Right so I've done 12 Done 10 11 one. Well, it won't be the big ones. It always gives me that hanger, even in the prospect. It gives me the same hanger every time. 
I only get a different hangar if I fly in there with the MSR. I get one of the ones around the ring. Three. So I've done one, two, three, four. I'm on five. Not there. Six and seven is the only two I've not tried. I don't have any ships here. I'm going to have to call one. The only ship I've got here is the Reclaimer. Oh, man. I'm not flying that over. I'll take the C8R. Right, the only one I've not been to now is nine, I think. That's the only one. I've been to every other one. I think it might have stored it because I backspaced. Yeah, it's definitely not. It's not here anyway. It, it might be kind of like... It might be like a case of, oh, well, he's, he's left his station, so we're storing his ship. Yeah. When I first started playing, the biggest bug was laddered. Now, where is my mole? It is stored here at the station. Yeehaw! Let's go refine. I don't have anything here either. I'm going to have to get another Sabir. They'll be in the box, won't they? Yeah, there's one in the box, but I always like to have two just right. in case. I mean, we can try out the other ones. I've never used them. I only ever use the severe one because it lowers resistance by 50%. And that is yeah. usually the reason I can't crack a rock is because the resistance is too high. Titanium, gold, a bit of aluminium there, but I don't care about that. Yeah. Dinks. I can see what you're doing on the screen. <laughs> 33, it's still 33 hours. So you've got the dinks, so what, no, what, how much is it, how much is that going to cost? Nine grand, how much is it going to cost nine, to do the grand. other one? Uh, to do the ferron. Yeah, the ferron. Uh, get a quote. That'll be 11 hours, and it'll cost 18 grand. So double, double the price. Double uh, the price, but not, but not, not double the time. So not double, it's yeah. a third of the time. Yeah. So it's a third of the time, but double the price. Yeah. Which I think is that's not that's not bad. 18k, 18 grand. It's only going to be one of your. You're only going to lose one one SCU of your. Your. Well, you're going to lose three, obviously, with the yield as well, but. One SCU. Yield? Oh. Yeah, yield was eight. You... Yeah, but I get plus three percent with Quantanium. Ah, right, that's right. Plus seven percent with gold. Yeah, that's good. See, time. so it gives you plus two percent for Bexalite, plus three for Quantanium, and plus seven for gold. So you're looking at eight, eight point eight Quantanium. So that's going to give you nine Quantanium in it, and then it's going to give you what was the gold? Three gold. So nine Quantanium. Yeah. So we only, you only lost one Quantanium in that, and it's and it cost you one Quantanium, one Quantanium load. Yeah. So you lost two Quantanium loads, and you're going to get about eight Quantanium profit, which is eight times twenty-five. Do they not have? Oh yeah, they do. <clears throat> oh wait, there's there's more here. There's more gadgets here. I'm sure there is. Which ones have they got here? North Northfield. Got Larkin, the Orkinus, the Optimax. RN7. They got Severe, the Bormax, which we got. They got an on Orkinus and the Optimax. I know, I can't scroll or select anything again it's doing the stupid stuff let's have a look i don't know why i have this most people don't seem to have this problem with the terminals but i get it like all the time 
So the optim the optim the Akunas is optimal charge window is plus fifty percent. The optimal charge window rate is hundred percent, so it goes faster with a bigger window. The cluster modifier is minus twenty percent, so we're going to get more clusters or less clusters with more. Oh yeah, so them. they've got the op Optimax Akunas. The Optimax is. Oh, yeah. 30% resistance, cluster foot modifier 60%. What is the cluster modifier? Optimal, optimal charge window rate is good. Cluster modifier. Cluster modifier is, um, so when you're splitting, say, a quantanium rock, you want all the quantanium to go into one chunk. Yeah. So the cluster modifier is, is that. Yeah. Um, so the Optimax is yeah, not bad then. The Optimax is a good one then with a six plus yeah. sixty. Yeah. But then, and it drops the resistance by thirty percent. But then, it the optimal charge window size is reduced by thirty percent. And on some of the good rocks like Quantanium, that the green window is just a tiny little sliver. And if you're minusing 30% off that, you're never going to crack that yeah. rock. Unless you've got good instability. Yeah, well, I mean, when I say a tiny little sliver, I mean a tiny little sliver. <laughs> okay. But that's why, you know, that's why I use the Sabir to get the extra green the green section you could put two the, on couldn't you you could put a beer on and an and an oculus and get the 60 percent. No, can't. can't you no they changed it you can only use one gadget ah okay what because if three what people was, use oh, gadgets so, when they no you can only use one gadget on a rock okay. when they first brought gadgets out you could put as many as you wanted on so people were using something like the Sabir to increase the green window size and putting like a dozen of them on a rock. Yeah. And then it would just crack itself. Because yeah. the whole thing was just a big green window. It would just crack itself. You didn't even need to fire the laser. Um, so they changed it so that you could only use one gadget. I, what I really want them to do, or I'd like them to do, is to say that you could put two gadgets on a rock but they have to be different different ones yeah they can't can't be the same one because that'd be good having a good that's a really good mod, the modifier but yeah yeah i think the wave well, shift is one of the ones i use and i like the wave shift one it's the same with the modules right so one of the modules i've got on on a couple of my heads are um uh they they um, adjust the the, mo the modifier as well. Yeah. So, Aye, you know, if it's like the modifier, so it means that you're more likely to get right. the good ores all clumped together. Um, and I think I think it's the Riger or whatever it is. And that, um, the only thing you sacrifice in that is your cluster laser power. Your gathering laser power your extraction laser power yeah which why does that even matter <laughs> you know what i mean i i don't know whether it really has any effect whatsoever so that's a good um a good module to use the filter one's a good one getting less in the materials but because that first head is a helix head it has really high power but it reduces i think it reduces the um the green window size so you need something to compensate for that yeah otherwise like i said you, you come up against a big rock with lots of quantanium in it and the green window is like a tiny little sliver that you're never going to be able to hold it in there let's go do some more let's go do some more we've got yeah yeah, yeah 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 sure yeah, absolutely. Where are you guys at anyway? Uh, we're at Archeol 2 right now, and I'm going to set my spawn point. Oh, I didn't buy a Sabir in the end anyway. Oh, I'll go on and shoot. Uh, hang as a minute. I'll go set my spawn. Have you set yours? Yes, yeah, I set mine. 
So I'm going to bring up the monster mining thing. That is, I mean, I'm sure there's probably others around, but that's the one I use all the time. It's pretty good. And he, he recently updated it for this patch anyway, so. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, if you're on a good mining uh, website, I can really highly recommend uh, scminingmom.com. She's the main miner of uh, ADI. Check it out. It's worth it. SC. scminingmom.com. I can link it if you want. I've got it. I've got it up. Cool. Dora knows everything about mining. I've got them all. <coughs> Five million for a mall, is it? Yeah, man. You, you make that in a night. How you do a couple of bounties or ERTs, you make that in an hour. That's after you've done all your training permits for yeah. the 50 millionth time. Um, I'm just looking at the Quantanium, but yeah, so the, the Quantanium price is 23,000. Yeah. I'm wondering whether, like, so the idea is like when they bring Pyro in that, um, well, what, what people believe will happen is some certain ores and minerals will disappear from Crusader. So that you, like, say diamonds, you won't find diamonds in Crusader. You'll have to go to Pyro and find diamonds or, or whatever. But I'm wondering whether they're also eventually going to bring in new ores and minerals because you know, a finished game is supposed to have like a hundred star system. You know, are we going to see things like Janalite pop in where there are some new ore comes out that's worth super massive prices, but it's really rare and you can only find it in these star systems and that sort of thing. Yeah. All right. So I'll pull out the bowl again. Good day. Vehicle selected. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Hangar four. Good day. Was that you weirdo? I think that doctor dude just said good day to me. He did. Because you put trust in his insurance system and put your insurance point here. I put more trust in their insurance system than I do their friggin' elevators. <laughs> you know, they need this on the SRV, this look like it. It took me ages to find the entrance on the SRV. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, that was a bit weird. You were still over at the uh, at the elevator, <laughs> and then and then I've walked up to the elevator to go and press the button, and it just started coming down on top of my head. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for the 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 entrance to the to the SRV for ages, probably about half an hour looking for it. In the end, I had to turn the thing on to show me where the entrances was. <laughs> Oh. Right, where do we want to go right. this time? Take us out, Captain. I don't know. You want to go planet mining? You want to go to the belt? <clears throat> Either or. Either it's up to or. you. You're flying the ship. Either or. Well, if you want to go to the belt, I'll have to bring up my little chart. Starting I think I remember the numbers, but if you request um, takeoff as well. 
Uh, I can do that for a fee. What fee is that? Let me see. Uh, wait, where am I? No. Oh. Okay. You are clear to launch. Now, make sure you're in VTOL. I am. Ah, oh, man, I love these. I just love these Argo ships. I love the orange and black. Mm, I still want to change the colour. Not a, not a fan of orange. Oh, it's my favourite colour, orange. Orange I and mean, blue, orange and black, I love them. Where the hell do you turn these screens on? Is excellent. So where we gotta go? If we're going to bound. Uh oh, there's power on. Okay, hang on. Let me look it up. Uh gotta go to No. That's coming from here. Okay. So we want to target through L5. You want to set your jump to crew L5. Yeah. And you want to come out of quantum at 39,000. 800. Okay. At 39 million, uh, 39.8 million. So when you when you're 39 million, 800 thousand away from crew L5, you need to come out of quantum. But you need to do it a little bit, a fraction earlier than that because it takes you a while, a bit to actually stop. Yeah. Put it in the channel chat. I use that chart, but that's coming from RKL one normally. But it doesn't really matter because RKL two will cross over RKL one anyway. So there's different there's different bands and they have different density of asteroids so you're aiming for band number five thirty nine million away yeah thirty nine million seven hundred and eighty eight thousand so about thirty nine million eight hundred thousand if you go too far, then you set your point back to Arkel 1, and it's 5,380,000. You got some of your party invite. I'll try my luck over there. I'll be back in a bit. I have to run off real quick. Okay. Yeah. Are you used to what? Are you a taxi? Not yet. Not yet. 
I used to mine in the belt all the time um, when I was mining with the Prospector because uh, very early on when I started playing and mining became a thing like, you know, tier, tier zero, tier one mining, it was, it was not uncommon to be mining on a planet and somebody discovered you and they would just instantly blow you up and I got sick of it so I used to mine out in the belt because there is fuck there is f all chance that anybody is ever going to find you out here accidentally yeah yeah it's much safer oh yeah uh, absolutely there's there's no jump point there's no i mean unless they're in your party they'll never know where you are and even even to the point where i've had people in my party jump to me and they're still miles away from me they've still got to fly to me to find me so there's not a lot of chance that somebody's going to accidentally come out of quantum right near you. There we are. Practically zero. Yeah. We hit 39.8. Let me just put this up on the main screen, though, while we're here. This thing that you've opened the link. Yeah. And I'll put that in the description, you see. So I want to just show that to the people on the chat, you see, on that thing. Well, it doesn't look like a lot of asteroids around here. We might have gone a little bit too far, but there's still a few. There's there's enough around. So this is a thing that you shot me, and I'll put this in the link in the description of this. So I am from um, from from that place. Crew, I'm thirty nine point eight. 39.879. Eight, seven. Oh, okay. So you need to go just a fraction further. Yeah. Okay. Like, you don't have to. You could probably just mine here. But if you look around at the density of the asteroids, they're, yeah. they're not very dense. There's not a lot of them. So if you just do a, a real quick jump. So eight seven eight. So yeah, I'm just gonna. I'll do it for. Her. So more. I think I I found about thirty nine point seven was a bit better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, see, there's a hell of a lot more asteroids yeah, now. 30, I'm thirty nine point eight six. Yeah, thirty nine. Yeah, around around between thirty nine seven and thirty nine eight. Like yeah. if you're going over eight, you're kind of heading into the band that is a little less dense. But there's a if you look around now, there's plenty of friggin' asteroids around. Yeah, and there's a couple here that right in front of us, a couple of mining ones. But we're we're doing a wicked sideways drift. Yeah, right I'm just um, I can see these asteroids coming closer. Oh yeah. Cool. So again, just pick a setting, uh, a heading. But I always try and make my heading away from the sun. Yeah, I'm just in the same. Into it. Get, get out of the way of the sun. So we've got one in front of us. I'm just going towards it now. Yeah and set your jump point back to arc l2 before you start just in case you do hit quant yeah so because you're all the way out here at the fair hike back you want to make sure you've got a quick jump back absolute shit ton of rocks here in front of us trying to find them now I wonder if I have to be in mining mod. No. Where did they go? They all disappeared. There was like six or seven rocks.
I mean, I've found salvageable C2s and everything out here before. You can find salvage out here, but it's yeah, I'm wondering if that kind was. of. But it didn't come up as um, salvage. It came up like little. I saying that it was on the little diamonds. It came up as you know, little triangle things. Not triangles. The, and that's it. Uh, that's the other thing about belt mining. You're not going to have markers for gems. Yeah. You know every marker is going to be a rock. I mean, on a rare occasion it might be salvage, but that's not that common. I think it was this chunk of rocks just in front of us. But for some reason, it's gone. Like, the, the whole thing is just gone. Box, everything else. I see Alex there's on. Are you in scanning mode or mining mode? I was in scanning mode. Yeah. I'll just keep pushing but forward. I, I believe changes with the recent patch mining, they kind of indicated that. Um, the mole is an asteroid miner. Like yeah. They they kind of they kind of said that you're going to have more success in the belt with a mole than you will with a prospector. And I haven't tried it yet. I still think the prospector would be would do okay out here. But uh, I think it's a case of you're probably going to find a lot bigger rocks out here than you will smaller rocks. Every time I get like a target, it just seems to disappear. Ah, oh, here we are, we've got one here. Let's have a look where we're going. Mining mode is on. Oh, that wasn't a good move. Um, Straight into it. Are you sure you want to come mining with me? Don't scratch my windscreen, man. <laughs> Uh, it's a mass 2800 and it's 32 percent quantanium really yeah one on our first rock yeah so you're only going to get it's 32 percent of a 10 so you're only going to get about three quant from that i think it's worth it coming going all the way back well not i mean you know you're gonna have to if you pick it up, you're jumping back. Yeah. I, I mean, good money, but what, what's the point in coming out here? We go, we, we, we get one rock and then go back. Yeah, for, for the second you, you know, You know there's people in the comments screaming at us, going, ah, oh, <laughs> the quant, find the quant. Yeah. But there's only three, you're only going to get three quant from it, so. For me, it's not but worth I it. Say, I say to those people, we're in pajamas. We're yeah. crazy. We are crazy. <laughs> we don't conform to the norm. We're out here. We're out here looking for copper. Yeah. We want copper. I'm, I'm really hoping when they bring in base building that it is a case of Oh, you want to build a base, do you? Okay, well, you're going to need uh, 10 SCU of copper and you're going to need 50 SCU of iron. And you're going to. So then there's a reason to go and mine these other rocks. You're either going to have to mine them, or buy you're going to have to mine up the materials, or you're going to have to go and buy it. Yeah. That's, that'd be good, that. That'd be good. I, th I think so. I mean, it, it just it would make sense, wouldn't it? You're yeah. not just going to magically plonk down a friggin' base out of nothing. You should have to collect the materials to be able to do it. You know, oh, you want to build a, a garage on or a extension onto your base. Well, this is the materials that it's going to take. Now you have to go and get them. And I don't want it to be easy either. I don't want it to be like, oh, well, I'll have that in half an hour and then I'll have my garage yeah no, I do I, I want it to be hard something that you have to work to yeah. I want it, if you want something like a mole you're going to have to take a couple of weeks to get it 
you know, yeah. mine, um, running cargo and stuff, or missions. And 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 even even a case of you know like oh okay well you know somebody's going to have to mine up some ores and you're going to have to build some uh, storage silos at your at your base to be able to store this ore so that uh, later on when you want to build stuff and do extensions you've got it you know you've got it in storage that sort of thing yeah like I, I just want a reason I, I like the changes that they made and there's a reason to mine other ores but it's still a case of everybody's only looking for the top four um you know and like who the hell is mining copper no one no one's mining copper what do you want copper for it's useless but i want to have a reason to to have to mine it so we've got a q type two uh, twenty three thousand taranite isn't Taranite a good one? Seven grand. Taranite to top four. Yeah, so you're talking 50, yeah. 50 Taranite there. Yeah. It goes uh, Quantanium, Gold, Bexalite, and Taranite. So if that's 7k per, per unit, and we're going to get just short of 50 units, or, or just around 50 units, because it's 114 SEU. So we're going to get about 50 units from that. Hang on. What size rock is it? It's 23. <laughs> Better jump in that mining laser and have a look because I think that one's going to tell you it's impossible. What's the resistance? Oh, you went mining it. Twenty-two percent resistance. So you need to put. So when you're lining it up, say you're solo mining in the mole. Yeah. See your display panel in front of you. Yeah. Put the rock behind that. Okay. And then, and then that'll you'll be, be able to see it. Then right, you'll be able okay. to see it with the laser. Yeah. So basically, it's a twenty-two. It's a twenty-three hundred, twenty-two percent resistance, two hundred fourteen, uh, two hundred thirty-four instability, and it's the optimal window is quite decent size as well. Well, you won't really know that until you get into the Take mine, in. into the laser, because the lasers and, and modules affect Do you that. want to get in the... So there's two rocks here. There's this one here, and there's one just slightly up to the left, uh, to the right, slightly up and right. There's another one. But it didn't scan that one for some reason. It would only scan this one. Okay. So you might have, we might have to have a look at that one. But I'm going to jump down there and have a look. We'll see how we go with it. There we go. So, yeah, it's all, it's, it says impossible. 15% resistance, what's, it says. What's the range? We are, we're over, we're 22 over. Oh, so we're too close. Yeah. Because that makes a difference as well. Like if you're outside of optimal range, it might say impossible. And okay. then once you get into the optimal range, sometimes it'll change to like hard or difficult or whatever. Yeah. So the optimal so is actually what? in. You're on the optimal now, but it's still in the orange. The optimal, it's not. It's okay. not in the green section. And resistance is what? Fifteen. Fifteen percent resistance. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say it's probably too big. Uh, we can try it with double. two lasers. Yeah, we're going to we'll say double laser it. So I'll I'll jump out and I'll jump in one of the other uh, turrets and see what happens. Yeah, I'm on full full but, power, so. And it's like actually going up with full power, but not really? much. Yeah, if you go forward a bit. What? Oh, oh, you come off the thing. I'll go have to back in the, yeah, I'll have to get back in the seat. Okay. Um, so if I jump in the other laser, keep in mind, we don't have a pilot. Yeah. So there's no moving the ship. If we explode it, <laughs> we explode. Yeah. All for this 50 Taranite. But 50 Taranite is going to be it's a good, it's a good haul, isn't it? It's like 70 times five. That's going to be a profit. Is that good enough? Uh, no, keep Four. going. Keep going forward, yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right, about there. About there. Um, I mean, it's go it's going up, but very slowly going up. Yeah, but it will. Does it still say impossible? Yeah. Yeah, but I've got a big laser on the front there. Yeah. 
I think one of the modules gives it like 125% extra power or whatever. Yeah. I mean, it is, it is going up. It's about a third up now. But that actually boards well because the movement in it is not massive. Yeah. Yeah, it's just you have to be patient. You just yeah. got to sit there and wait. But you find when it jumps into the green, a lot of times it goes up a lot quicker when it gets into the green. Yeah. You got to try and back off a bit or whatever. That's what I'll do. Once it's in the green, I'll back it off a bit. Just over halfway now. You still in the pilot seat? Yeah. Go forward a little bit more. See if it makes a difference with the layers going on. Seems to have stalled around the middle. Okay, well, I'm going to back off a little bit and yeah. then I'm going to jump in the other gun and see how we go. Yeah. But I'm just gonna set it on um, on the lowest power, and we'll go from there. Yeah. I'm about and two then, two quarters up now. And then you'll you'll be controlling the power. Three quarters up, should I say? Not two. Okay, so I'll try the left side. I can't remember what modules I've got in this, but it should be alright. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we just um just about to do it, I think. Right, the red's gone now, so I can get back up now. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll control the power. Hold it there, hold it there. We're gonna do it. Boom. Done. Hopefully it doesn't explode, which it did. <laughs> it damaged the shields a bit, but we should be fine. Yeah. It took the power out a little bit. Right, so we've got we don't want to take it all, do we? So the Taranite is only 1% in this first rock. Yeah. Yeah, well, we don't want that one then. Yeah. We just want whatever... I mean, it's it's kind of up to you and, and your own personal, personal preference. I, I, anything over 50%, I normally yeah. take. This one's um, got... This one here has uh, 19 SCU and it's 85%, 86%, so I'm going to take that one. Yeah. Do I... Is it going to take it? No, I think I might have to crack that one, actually. So I think it might be a yellow rock. Let me look at this uh, one. Well, do you want me to back up a bit? Yeah, just... yeah. Can, so that was a yellow rock there. That one's a yellow rock there. This one is, yeah, a yellow rock as well. The only one that... Okay. Uh, the only one that has so purple it is might be worth. It might be worth jumping in the other laser, because you, you might 
find that that thing's a little bit too overpowered to do the yeah. second crack. Just looking at this this one here. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that then. I'll do that. Uh, we need to get rid of this this one in front of us because this one in front of us. Can we move the ship round maybe to get rid of that one? Which which one? So the one right directly They're in front all... of us is the big one right directly in front of us is no good. All right. Okay. My thanks. Yeah. I was just uh, playing with Jack, and all of a sudden, I think his entire computer just crashed. <laughs> I am just, I just want to advise you, please get him to actually clean today. I will do. I will do. All right, let me jump on this other laser. Yeah, I'll yeah. get it sorted today. How are you getting on, Alex? Yeah, he's angry right now, so... How are you getting on, Alex? I think uh, Alex has passed out. <laughs> no, I'm just... Um, well... Uh, it's okay. It's still, everything's unscannable, which... is annoying. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I will come and help you guys out. I can move the ship around or something, but I need a couple of minutes That's to do something else first. I'm in the other laser. What yeah. modules have I got in that? Uh, you got an X, X, uh, XTR XL module and a Focus 3. Okay. And so a one of those, mine laser. One of, one of those um, reduces inert material? Uh, yes, yeah, by 6%. Yeah. Okay, so the first rock I'm looking at is 59%, so half of it, so six of it is is tar Terranite. Then we've got this 1%, which we don't want. Then we've got this 85% Terranite. The, none of them are purple. Okay. So I'm just seeing which ones are right. worth getting. We'll get cracking. Get them a cracking. 26% on that one. So I'm going to start off with this first one, which is eighty, uh, which is fifty nine percent. Oh, geez, that 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 window went up massive. <laughs> the extra window, the extra twenty five percent charge window, and the extra forty percent charge window. Yeah, well, I think the focus has extra charge window and extra charge rate. Yeah. So when you do get into the green, it goes up quicker. Almost, almost in the green now. I'm not even using any power here, by the way, so be ready to back up if you need it. Oh, you just flick the laser off. Sometimes you can just sit there flicking it on and off, on and off, on and off to hold it in the green. Yeah. There we go, that's one. You know when I flicked it off then, the window yeah. went smaller so it touched the red and there was a slither of red from it. Ah, uh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm just scanning them now. So that one is 76% Terranite, so I'll take that one. Can you see what it's churning up? Yeah, we got four SCU. Yeah. 
of Terranite. Terranite, yeah. This one's 48%. So this is going to be again about another three, maybe four. Three, maybe. So we should have about seven. Seven point five five. That one's just that rock in front of us there is just useless. That one there is just useless. So this one's Has got eighty five percent. Uh not at this moment, no. There was no red there, so if that exploded, that's not on me because it was all green. Yeah, I didn't even got well, hit. We're, the we're, we're gonna watch the range then. So we're almost an optimal. We're just a little bit away from optimal. You can go forward a little bit. Okay. That do. So good. And this one here is. Hundred percent time now. Six S you do that. Hundred percent Taranite's good. Yeah. Love me a hundred percent rock. So we got in here. Fifty percent time night, seventeen. Oh. Sometimes I find, um, especially on the second crank, that even though it says optimal range, your laser power is way too, too overpowered. Much, yeah. So sometimes you can do it from outside the optimal range and it makes it easier. Yeah. So what like I tend to do with slower. it, what I'll do is when I fire my laser, I'll get it so that the at the lowest, at the lowest rate, the, the green is not moving at all. And then I know that when I back off, that that laser, that 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 power is not going to move whatsoever. Yeah. If I back off the laser, that to, to to the minimum it can go, that that's not going to it's not going to um, move from that spot. And then I can once I'm in that range, then I can just control it with the laser power. Because I use a Hotas, I've got a like a, a knob, a dial knob. So I use that instead of the um, mouse wheel. Yeah. And I find it so much easier for adjusting like finer sensitivity. So I just picked up a hundred percent Taranite there, and then this one is seventy-three percent Taranite. So I'll take that. And the one in front of that is hundred percent aluminium. We don't want. Next two. So this one is going to be twenty-seven percent Taranite, and this one is forty-nine. We'll take. We'll Crack that one first. Whoa, back off, back off. <laughs> it went straight into the green. Straight into it. He's going to blow that. It's going to blow. You might have to back off. Luckily, it came out the charge window. But yeah, there it goes. It literally oh, yeah. went flying into the red and just went boom. <laughs> I, that's gone. That's gone. That rock's gone. Uh, what we got rock wise left? Oh, there was. Oh, that was the aluminium. Then that one is. I've got a purple one here. Let me check that. Oh, can I have? Terranite, another Terranite, Yeah, let's take all that. One. 
We've got this last rock, which is 20 something percent turn right now. Oh, well, no, that was redundant, that one. Yeah, you can go forward. Just this one here. Green's going up even though the green's not in it. That's weird. Is that a desync? Because the green's going up, but the green's the bar's not actually in the Oh, so that's why it's because it wasn't on. Um showing the extended bar. I wonder if that's what happened with the other one, it wasn't showing the extended bar. So when yeah. I pushed it up it ended um ended up in the red without realising that I was already in the green. That's what we've got going on here. Thirty-seven percent tower now. Step up one, she's still seven K. Thirty-four percent because the thirty-four percent is about another again, another one. Another care, seven care. Did I just? I'm sure I just saw a ship flying around us. Yeah, it's yeah, Alexander. It's oh. Oh yeah, there's a prospector behind us. I'm on the last one to scan. Now we're looking 55 SCU we've got on board so far. Yeah. Uh, once this is done, we can go to the next one. Yep. That's the hull of rock. So this one is Hello. rubbish. That one's rubbish. That one's 100% um, aluminium. Oh, okay, okay. There's another rock just slightly up above us. Slightly to the right. Yeah, I'm just having a look to see what it is. It wouldn't let me scan it earlier. Laranite and aluminium. That's all good then. Okay. We got the best. This game is just amazing, isn't it? Stuff oh, you can I do in this. I love it. Stuff you can do in this is just crazy. They just come on one day and go, right, what do I want to do today? Today we're going to go mining in the mall. Yeah. And it's only going to get better the more game leaps they add. You know, data running or passenger deliveries. Like, I can't, I can't wait for more star systems and then, you know, like, an 890 jump actually being useful in the game genesis starliner you know picking up npc passengers from somewhere and flying them around or taking them on a tour or whatever you have to do i don't know what the gameplay is going to be but you know like crazy isn't it? there's even you know people were like oh yeah it's an alpha but i mean even in an alpha state it has more gameplay than than a lot of early release games I've ever seen. Hell, it's got more gameplay in it than some full game releases I've ever seen. Oh yeah, I, I say it all the time. Like the amount of times I've paid fifty to seventy quid for a, for a card, and there's people hiding under the ground, like they've glitched into the ground, and you know stuff like that. Is that rock in front of us? Yeah, I'm just. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to scan. Though. I'm yeah, just right. waiting. Okay, just for the other one to like, and that's why I end up going onto the other rock. You can just hit the mining mode out of a couple of times. If you're lucky, it will help. Uh, 
it's there. So, because uh, sometimes, like, what I do is I shoot them with the lasers, and sometimes you'll notice the lasers just pass straight through the rock. So it's like the rock isn't actually there. Yeah. But if the if the lasers hit the rock, then it's a real rock. It's it's actually there. Uh -huh. We push it up a bit. I'll see if mine scans. No, nothing. That's what you I've got on the one, though. You kind of got to wait for it to just turn up. I mean, sometimes I've sat there for like a couple of minutes waiting. It just depends on whether you are, whether you can be bothered. And they kind of made it. So you see this rock, it's got like all these red flecks and stuff through it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Now it's on. Laranite and copper, so we wasted our time waiting for that. <laughs> so it used to be, if you saw a rock with red flecks in it, that was that was Quantanium. It was always Quantanium. But now you can't. Like, that had red flecks in it, and it was Laranite and copper. Three, yeah. Oh, I fell over and I glitched out. Wait, out of the ship? No, I'm, uh, I'm in a stairway, sort of. Okay. Can you can you rescue him? I'm gonna go and check Man. now. Go on, go and check now. I'm just gonna wait for these rocks. I've I've got three rocks here, but uh, I gotta wait for them to show up. Well, uh, oh, ouch! I just saw you fall down the stairs. Yeah, I'm all right. And That's right. I wonder if it's because I was like downstairs in it. It should still let you through, though, shouldn't it? Well, it? well, he started moving and I fell over and I got stuck in the. <laughs> He's just doing a T pause on my screen. Is, I do? Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Let me try to get going up. Nope. Yep. No. Yeah, it seems to be a little bit of lag and desync. Yeah. Normally, when one rock comes up to scan, the rest of them are automatically uh, scannable. But now it's kind of each rock I have to sit and wait for each one. Come on. I know you're going to be aggressive and corrupt. Gold. Is it a big gold? Thirteen thirteen thousand mass. Resistance is thirty one percent though, and it's thirty five percent gold. That's Have good, a look and see what you can do with that. Resistance was pretty high though. Twenty one percent resistance got on here. Easy it says. But let's see. Really? Yeah, but that optimal window is tiny. What's, what's the range? Oh. We are not in the optimal at the moment, but I'm going to bring my laser down until we start getting okay. some. Well, I mean, we can always chuck a Sabir or something on it to try and make that window bigger. Yeah. Or could we not use one of the other lasers? Would that not make it bigger? We well, can try, yeah. Shall I fire mine? Yeah, have you, have you gone to the right, have you? To the right? Um... No, he's in the right. Have, I think left, yeah. I don't know this ship. First time I'm in it, so... Okay. Have you got the same stuff on the other one? Yeah, yeah that optimal window's gone up now. No, I've got a different one. Yeah, the optimal's gone up, though, which is 
it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not increasing power, so. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's fine. Doesn't seem to be necessary. No, you just leave yours at minimum, and then yep. the next will adjust his power. Yeah. Just tell me to if I need to disengage. I'll just. I want to back up slightly dark. Okay. Just so because if 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 Alex turn turns his off that window's gonna be tiny. Yeah. So I just want to stabilize the laser at low power. I'm in the green. Yep. Yeah. That's it, mate. Nice. Kaboom. Kaboom. Let's have a look what we got. <laughs> there won't be any second cracks on this one, especially if it's so 14%. easy. And it was only a 13 p. 14% on that first bit. 50% in and 50% gold. Second one. So we've already got 61 SCU out of 96 on board. Yeah. That's 13% gold. Thirty-six percent gold. Forty-three percent gold. I'm gonna take that one. That's three gold with that. There is where the cluster modifier comes in. So if we put like a, a gadget on there that adjusted the cluster modifier, some of those rocks might have had less gold in them and then one of them would have had like a lot more in it. Yeah. Yeah, I should have brought some. I've got some in the box. So we've got 36% gold, 13% gold, and 14% gold, I'll take the 36%. Gotta tell you, it's been in here five minutes, already more fun than doing it alone. <laughs> I think I love things like this in the Reclaimer, of, like the two yeah. things are brilliant. We're on 90 SCU, 91, 92, 94. Cool. Yeah, we're full. We are full, guys. That's it. We've got 38 or 39 Taranite and 14 gold, nearly 15 gold. That's that's a good haul, that, I think. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's good. So I say if we was to get 30, 36 Taranite, we're looking at 250 grand there. And the gold, 14 golds, golds about the same in it, so 14 times, 7, 28 grand. So we're looking at about just short, just short 300 grand before your costs, that is. Right. Someone, uh, someone else can land the ship. Yeah. I'm how, I'm, uh, I'm having smoke here. Wait, there's four beds back here too. I never go in this back section. What's this? Well, I'd think it oh, was a yeah. crew of five rather than a crew of four. Well, three turrets and a pilot. And the second seat. Got three turrets and, and a pilot, a core pilot, aren't you? I, I can't wait for them to bring in, like, the, the, um, loads of lockers. So you can actually put your suits and stuff in there. I'm just getting an exit on that, me. On the scene. What? It's just his exit. Nah. You can try it again. 
You'll be fine. Engines on, engines off. I can, I can press the buttons. <laughs> Exit. Exit. No, stand behind the seat. Oh, yeah. Why is it giving me the exit though when I'm stood in front of it? That's crazy. <laughs> Harry, three million out, guys. So, yeah, I want to close a look at. You know, there's machines that you see um, at some of the stations, and they're like. They're supposed to be for you to quickly change clothes. Like, they've been in the game since you off. I think when they brought in uh, the the R and R's, the rest stops, and yet they've never ever worked. Same as the the, the bank terminal machines and the vending machines. Yeah, I've seen them. What the hell are you doing, Alex? Are you want to play some cards? He's doing the crucifixion. I don't know about you, Menix, but he's standing on the chair, T posing. Yeah. Like he's about, no. like he's waiting for the rapture or something. <laughs> I'm not. I, I half expect you to just start floating up into the air and disappearing in a in a tunnel of light. <laughs> got, yeah. How come everybody plays as a girl? What's up with that? Oh, that's very easy. I mean, would you prefer looking at a girl avatar or a man avatar yeah i i gotta admit i, I remember when tomb raider the first tomb raider came out and mm -hmm. me and my me and my mate were playing it and we've been playing it for oh, ages and his girlfriend walks in and goes oh, why does it have to be a girl character and my mate just looks at her and goes if you got to stare at someone's ass for hours on end it might as well be a woman's Exactly. <laughs> she raises her eyebrows and walks out. Well, are you sure you're not an NPC, Alex? I mean, quite sure. You're standing on the chair. But make a screenshot of it. I don't believe you. <laughs> when he was sat in the co-pilot seat, he was T-posing. I've never T-posed. Mining <laughs> mode. <laughs> There you go, in the cool pit. Let me see. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, I just, you see what I mean? I'm waiting for you to float away in a, in a, you know, I'm waiting for the, oh, and a big <laughs> beam of light comes down and then you just start floating up into the air. Thank you. Amazing. I'm saving this one. Hello. And thank you for contacting EDL Landing Assist. Fantastic. What well, must have happened when I fell? No, he was like that in the chair, in the in the co-pilot chair. I was already like this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Before you fell, yeah. I'll uh, be sure to uh, contact Concierge Support about it. <laughs> Do it now so that when the game comes out, it's sorted for you. Uh, I hope so, yeah. <laughs> in, in, in another 15 years, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm taking bets on how long it's going to be. No so. wonder, no wonder you couldn't scan wrong. I mean, but, if you're if you're that desynced like that. Yeah, it's probably. Uh, I'll, I'll blame myself. It's fine. I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe relogging might help, but... I'll, I'll stand up. <laughs> Everything works fine for the rest. Oh, oh, oh. What, what, am, what am I doing now? <laughs> I'm dancing on the table. You're standing on the table. 
but, but you're not moving. Like when you move it's around, flight. you're literally stuck in that pose, yeah. just skating around the plane. Your legs don't move, move, your arms don't move, your head doesn't move, nothing moves. You're mm. you're literally like a mannequin that that is just skating around the place. What am I doing now? Because I'm lying down. You're just standing in the middle of the floor. Oh, that's crazy. Turn engines off. You look like fucking darling. <laughs> You don't move. Nothing moves. All your limbs and everything are stiff. So I'm just floating, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 You, you're just skating back and forwards. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be sure to watch this. Isn't that, isn't that funny? That's hilarious. <laughs> it's like, there's no. Somebody starched your uniform bad, man. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Are we down? All right. We're, We're down. down. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. now I'm hurt. What? Hurt How are you hurt? Climb down. Well, stop bumping into me. me. You keep touching my arms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to follow my legs down, and then I'm going to grab onto the ladder 30 times before I let it go. What, yeah, what is up with that bug? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's such a weird bug. Uh, <laughs> are you, <laughs> you just skate your way over here onto the ladder. <laughs> yeah. the other way. There you go. I think we're gonna have fun watching this bug. Pull out your gun. Pull out your tractor beam. See what happens. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> nothing. This is nothing. 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 No, no, he's got he's got the tractor beam he's in, got his in his hand. hand now. <laughs> <laughs> he's got it in his hand, but he's still he posed like that. <laughs> oh. oh, that's funny. He jumps. Hey, he jumps. That's good. Yeah, you jumped. I saw you jump. We. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, far out. You can yeah. gotta love it. You gotta love this game. Oh, you can't. Yeah, yeah I, hang on. I'm standing back here. I remember this elevator. I'll go first. Oh! It worked out. It's okay. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Is anybody else in? Yeah, I'm in. you're all in. Alright. Alex Button used his box to press yeah. the button. <laughs> but did it jump uh, the gun? Still on the, still on the ship. I get a bit worried storing this ship because sometimes I've had that bug where you store the ship and it doesn't store it and then you can't pull it out and you have to plane it again. Yeah. Heading down to the refinery. Just me and my mannequin friend here. <laughs> I think I'd want to work in this refinery. They're always been on chemical shit. Who's this guy? Hey, buddy. He's got a little tool on the bottom of him. What's he got? He's got a saber and it's on as well. Can't read it. I wonder if he's told your saber. Well, how did he attach that there? Can you do that, can you? I didn't know you could attach them. To yeah, you just grab it. When you grab it to, to put it in your hand, you can put it in on the back of your thing. Back of your... Right. Oh, that's cool. All right, mate. Let's have a look. Argo, oh, come on. Set up work order. Oh, we've got a lot of stuff in here. Well, we don't want the corundum. We want it's the gold, gold and the taranite. And that's all we want. 38 So, Dinks is 76. They've increased the times, for sure. Oh, that is, that's like gears. 
76 hours <laughs> at 20, 20,000. 20.5 grand. Holy crap. Now, what's Ferron? Ferron is 25 hours at 41,000. Jesus. Holy crap. That is a lot. You're going to get 30, you're going to get 33 Taranai and 13 gold. So, 33, 46. That's 46 times 7. 46 times 7,000 equals 322 grand. So, you take off your 40 grand there, so you're going to make 280 grand. 280 grand on that one. Which is not bad, it's, it's alright. Well, it's still alright. But the times. Yeah. 25 hours is not too bad, but I mean, Dinks has now become like it used to be the one that I did all the time, but now it's like oh, 76 hours. Yeah, it's I'm not waiting time. 76 hours, that's crazy, especially if they do an update in between that. Yeah, well, that's what Pin was saying when they did that reset recently. He lost all his mining orders, Jeez. which which obviously you wouldn't have expected because you don't expect a branch patch to do that. Just that Quantanium alone is going to earn just as much. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Quant is, is well worth it. Yeah. I mean, we, we've been noticing so, leaks and For the amount that we're going to have to we're going to have our son to retreat. The, the amount that we earned from that job that we just did. I wonder how much we would have got out of that first contract that we found, whether it would have ended up being the same amount of money. Three. So, 70 grand we would have got. Oh, okay. throw it off the balcony over there. Just because I don't like stuff being a mess everywhere. What's next, Chief? Uh, I don't know if I can might call it. Yeah. It's about, about 2.30 in the morning for me and I'm like, I think he wants to do a, a new final stream for Christmas tomorrow. Thanks. Uh, that's cool. I'm going to call it then. I'm going to call it there. And I might be on later. I don't know. I'm waiting for like what I was saying about Iron. Maybe we'll get that video done as well um, yeah. with the Caterpillar. I'll let you know when, when he's going to be on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let us know. I mean, obviously, over Christmas, people have been doing stuff. So, yeah. Christmas Day, I won't be doing anything. I've got one up. But otherwise, it's just. Well, if I have to, I'll DM you on the once and all when he's going to be on. Because we're going to need a couple of people for him. It's not going to be good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Cheers for coming on, Alex. My pleasure, mate. Take it easy, cheap posing, man. Still doing it, yeah. See you later.